The University Bindery was established in 1922, and it was actually first located in a building called Perrine's Bookstore. But then when Walter Library opened in 1924, the bindery was actually one of the first departments to move into Walter Library. In the late 60s, they realized that the bindery was growing and it needed a bigger space. So they erected this printing services building to not only house the bindery, but printing services and the addressing and mailing group. Binding is really about preservation and access. And over the 93 years that it was open, the university bindery helped the libraries to preserve hundreds of thousands or perhaps even millions of books. I would say from the late 80s into the late 90s, we would bind anywhere from 45 to 60 some thousand pieces a year. We just have had a seriously diminishing volume over the last 10 years and really over the last three years it became pretty obvious that we're, our operation would not be sustainable. Binding continues to be an important part of the library's um, goal to preserve its collections, but over the years, much more of the content that we acquire and make available is available electronically. So as the amount of paper we acquire goes down, uh, the need for binding has decreased over the last couple of decades. We were one of the first operations in the country to start reformatting old, brittle books and creating new books. By the mid-80s, they were seeing hundreds of thousands of materials coming through that were very brittle because they were printed on acidic paper. And rather than just binding these brittle books, um, the University of Minnesota Bindery recognized the need to make a copy of the content to preserve that. We take the old, brittle book apart and page by page reformat it, or in the case of how we've been doing it, photocopying it creating a book facsimile and then uh, binding up that uh, into a hard copy. So basically replacing the book. I have been here since 1979 and I think I will miss the interaction with the people the most. It's been great to be uh, mission oriented, mission driven and solve problems for the libraries and of course I'll miss all the interactions and personal relationships that you build up over all those years not only with the library people, but with our great bindery staff. Uh, at closing, the bindery, we had four employees. And two of us are retiring, and then the other two folks uh, have university jobs and have started their university jobs. It's kind of like everybody landed on their feet. While the university bindery has closed, its legacy will live on in the libraries. Um, it's impossible to walk through the stacks without seeing hundreds of those colored buckram covers that came from the university bindery. So um, it, it continues to be an important part of the libraries and it continues to be an important part of the work of students and faculty and researchers who come to the university.